Haley Hernandez is back with us with a special demonstration and guests. Good morning. Yeah, hey, good morning, Owen. So today I have this 3D printed model of the lungs with me. Um, this is roaming around Houston to see the effects of potentially dangerous aerosols on the lungs. Uh, UT Health Houston researchers joining me now, Wei Chung Su and Jing Ho Lee. Um, so what are you guys studying with this lung? What exactly are we looking at here? Well, uh, he is called MELDA. MELDA is the acronym for Mobile Aerosol Lung Deposition Apparatus. It's basically a movable experimental setup uh, developed to study the aerosol deposition in the lung. Uh, aerosol are those little tiny particles suspended in the air. Uh, people often call them uh, fumes, smoke, or dust. Mm -hmm. And uh, like the smoke generated by the Deer Park fire last Friday yeah. is a type of aerosol. Yeah. And uh, uh, the 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 and the aerosol lung deposition it means the aerosol remains in the lung after being breathing into the lung. So this should help reveal how vaping, as you mentioned, construction dust site, fires, just those passing aerosols could damage the health of your lungs? Is that what you're looking for? Yes, uh, when people exposed to aerosol, some aerosol will be inhaled and uh, remain deposit in the lung and uh, cause some health problems. For example, inhaling uh, ultrafine particle will cause cardiovascular disease. So I use MELDA to collect those lung deposition data in order to estimate uh, aerosol-induced health risk. Mm -hmm. So MELDA is what we're calling the lungs, right? What does it stand for? Uh, mobile Aerosol Lung Deposition Apparatus. Excellent. Will this help be able to reveal um, the extent of dangers from occupational hazards? Yes. Uh, before I invented MELDA, I can do the aerosol lung deposition experiment only in the laboratory. But now by using MELDA, I can do this experiment outside the laboratory in the real world. In the Which is where the aerosols exist, yes. right? So I put the MELDA in some e-cigarette user's house to study the potential health risk caused by secondhand vaping. Yeah. And uh, uh, in the future, I will also put MELDA in some workplace, real workplace, to study yeah. workers' exposure to work-related aerosol, like silicon dust or the welding fumes. It's really fascinating. So I hear it making noise right now. Is it, is it currently scanning something? Yes, uh, it's running right now. Uh, MELDA works by uh, using a pair of aerosol instruments. Uh, to measure the inhaled aerosol in different uh, human airway region in the respiratory system. And then by this data, I can uh, calculate the deposit mass of the aerosol and uh, calculate the deposit dose and uh, to estimate the potential health risk. Can I, can I move it and show people what we're looking at on the back here? Sure. It looks like human lungs. Yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, the, the MELDA has a realistic human airway replica set uh, with the nose, mouth, uh, and this uh, complicated uh, uh, lung tree, and uh, they were all made by 3D printing. So really, we, we hear a lot about the dangers of what we're breathing here just simply by living in Houston. Is this going to further confirm what we already know, or do you think that we're actually going to find out something, um, you know, much worse could be living in our air? Yeah, if I uh, could put MELDA in different uh, industrial or some uh, uh, traffic area, then I will be able to collect some data to estimate the potential health risk for the for those communities, those people living in the community there. And and I know you're you're still a student, mm -hmm. but what does that mean to you? I mean, is this exciting for for the you know the future of of, of lung? Oh lung yeah, 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 definitely it is because because uh, <clears throat> it like a, we can use this model for various kind of experiments, of course, uh, and uh, we can learn from this a lot of things. Yeah, this is incredible. Yep. Wow. Anything else that you guys want the public to know? I mean, we appreciate you bringing this in. This is an, an incredible invention that you have here. If, I feel like it's very fragile, but I know that it must transport to a lot of areas in Houston. Yeah, if 
if we broken several a uh, <laughs> certain part, we can 3D print it right away. Yeah. What, what else would you like people to know? Uh, uh, exposed to aerosol might cause some health effect. So uh, we, will, we will make sure uh, this amount that will contribute to the occupational health study and also the public health study. How soon could you possibly have results from it? Uh, we have already collected many data, but I need time to do the data analysis. Uh, once I publish, I will send you a copy. Okay. Well, did you go to the Deer Park fire last week? No, you take but it, you we didn't take them out there. Yeah, no. We, we plan to bring Melda to the Texas South Valley during the summer. Um, we will uh, we will study some uh, indoor air quality uh, issue there for those uh, community there. Excellent. Well, I know people are always very curious to know what they're breathing in in the air around them. Like I mentioned, especially here in Houston, that can be, um, you know, in certain parts of town near the ship channel and things like that. Um, it can be a huge concern for the people living there. So I appreciate your work. I appreciate you bringing Malda in. Nice to meet you, Malda.